Are you ready for the unexpected? Here we go. Number one, fecal transplants in ancient China. Brace yourself because this one is straight out of a nightmare. In 4th century China, doctors treated patients with severe diarrhea by giving them something called yellow soup. Sounds innocent, right? Spoiler alert, it wasn't soup. It was human feces mixed with water. Yes, people literally drank poop as medicine. The logic, though disgusting, was brilliant. When your gut bacteria are destroyed, your intestines get overrun by bad microbes. Reintroducing healthy bacteria can restore balance. Ancient doctors didn't know about microbiomes, but they noticed the treatment worked. Many patients recovered instead of dying from dehydration and infection. Modern medicine rediscovered this. Today, doctors perform fecal microbiota transplants for infections like C. difficile, which kills thousands every year. And the success rate is over 90%. In other words, poop can save lives. It's now packaged in sterile pills and capsules. Some patients even call them crapsules. So next time you complain that kombucha tastes weird or that probiotics cost too much, remember ancient patients literally drank poop water to survive. Number two, maggot therapy that cleans wounds. This one will gross you out instantly, but it worked better than you'd think. Ancient civilizations noticed something strange. If a wound got infested with maggots, the person often healed faster. Sounds like a horror movie. But maggots are actually picky eaters. They only munch on dead tissue, leaving healthy flesh untouched. That means they clean out the rotting infected parts while sparing the good skin. Egyptians and Mayans both documented this practice. They didn't know what bacteria were, but they knew rotten wounds healed faster with maggots crawling around. Imagine being the first person to notice that and say, let's keep the bugs they're helping. That's bravery. Fast forward to today. Hospitals still use maggot therapy when antibiotics fail. Doctors literally place sterilized maggots into a wound and the patients heal faster. It's not just the cleaning. Maggots secrete special chemicals that kill bacteria and even stimulate healing. In other words, they are like little slimy pharmacists that work for free. Number three, garlic as an ancient antibiotic. Before penicillin, there was garlic. And no, not just for chasing away vampires. Egyptians, Romans, and Chinese healers all prescribed garlic for infections, stomach problems, and even breathing issues. They didn't know about molecules, but they noticed garlic worked. The secret is allicin, a compound released when garlic is crushed. Allicin has powerful antimicrobial properties. Lab studies today prove it kills bacteria, fungi, and even some viruses. So your grandma's chicken soup with garlic wasn't just comfort food, it was science in a bowl. Roman soldiers carried garlic with them into battle. Not because it tasted good, but because it helped fight off wound infections. Chinese doctors gave it to patients with lung disease. And in World War II, when Russia ran out of antibiotics, they used garlic to disinfect wounds. Soldiers joked about it, but they survived because of it. Garlic became so famous it was nicknamed Russian penicillin. Think about that. While modern countries were stockpiling penicillin factories, Russia was basically stockpiling garlic bread. And it worked. So if you reek of garlic after dinner, don't be embarrassed. You're not just warding off dates, you're carrying ancient medicine in your breath. Number four, leech therapy. That still exists. Leeches have always had a bad reputation. Slimy, gross, and blood-sucking. But ancient doctors didn't see pests. They saw tools because leeches had one legitimate superpower. Their saliva contains natural anticoagulants which keep blood from clotting. That means if circulation was blocked, a leech could actually restore blood flow. Today, modern hospitals still use leeches in microsurgery. If a surgeon reattaches a severed finger blood sometimes pools and clots, that can kill the tissue. A leech fixes the problem by sucking out the excess blood and keeping vessels open. So yes, leeches are still on the hospital payroll. Imagine explaining that to your insurance company. Doctor's bill $50 zero, leech bill $3.50. It sounds medieval, but the science is solid. Sometimes the creepiest creatures are the most useful. Number five, willow bark as ancient aspirin. Before Advil, before Tylenol, before the corner pharmacy, there was willow bark. Egyptians and Greeks discovered that chewing it or making tea from it reduced pain and fever. They didn't know why, but they knew it worked.
The secret ingredient is salicin, which the body turns into salicylic acid. That's the base for modern aspirin. Hippocrates, the so-called father of medicine, prescribed willow bark for headaches. Native Americans also brewed it as tea for pain relief. In the 1800s, chemists finally isolated the active ingredient and refined it into aspirin tablets. Today, aspirin is one of the most widely used medicines in the world. It relieves pain, lowers fever, and even prevents heart attacks. Number six, opium as ancient pain relief. This one is a little darker, but undeniably powerful. The Sumerians grew opium poppies as early as 3400 BC. They called it the joy plant. Egyptians, Greeks, and Persians used it for everything from toothaches to surgery. Imagine having a broken leg in the ancient world. No anesthesia, no painkillers. Opium was your only hope. Opium was the world's first serious pain reliever. It numbed suffering in a way no other natural remedy could. But it came with a huge cost. Addiction. Entire societies struggled with dependence. In China, the opium trade even fueled wars. Even so, in a world with no anesthesia, it was a miracle. Today's morphine, codeine, and other opioids are still derived from the same plant. It shows how sometimes medicine is a double-edged sword. The same plant that eased suffering also created centuries of addiction. It's both a cure and a curse. So yes, ancient pain relief worked, but it also came with baggage. A lesson that medicine is never simple. Every cure has a price. Number seven, acupuncture that actually works. Sometimes, finally, we have acupuncture. It began in ancient China, built on the idea that energy or qi flowed through the body in invisible channels called meridians. By poking needles into specific points, doctors believed they could restore balance and health. Sounds mystical. But modern science shows there's something real happening. Inserting needles can stimulate nerves, release endorphins, and reduce inflammation. That explains why acupuncture helps with chronic pain, migraines, and nausea. It's not magic and it's not a cure for everything. But study after study shows it has measurable effects. In fact, many hospitals today include acupuncture in pain management programs. So, yes, lying down while someone sticks needles in your skin may sound bizarre. But compared to sitting in line at the DMV, it's practically a spa day. So here's the bottom line. Ancient medicine wasn't just superstition. Sure, some of it was nonsense, but a surprising amount actually worked. From maggots that cleaned wounds, to garlic that killed bacteria, to willow bark that became aspirin, our ancestors discovered real science long before microscopes or chemistry labs. The funny thing is many of these practices are still used in hospitals today. Doctors still prescribe aspirin. Surgeons still use leeches. Fecal transplants are saving lives. And garlic supplements still sit on the shelves at your local pharmacy. It proves something important. The past looked brutal, but people were smarter than we give them credit for. They didn't just survive, they experimented, observed, and passed down knowledge. Sometimes the methods were gross, sometimes dangerous, but often they were weirdly brilliant. So, here's the question for you. Which of these practices shocked you the most? Would you rather trust honey on a wound or let maggots crawl around cleaning it? Drop your answer in the comments. And if you made it through this video without gagging, hit that like button because your stomach is officially tougher than most people's.